Hi everybody, welcome to Draw for Initiative. I changed up my partner in crime, crime for this painting series. Now I'm all into Cthulhu, Tina's history. Are you coming out now? <sighs> all right. She's not. <laughs> She's here. But she was like, I, you have to do it all on your own. I'm not yeah. here anymore. That's why I took Cthulhu as my partner in crime. He's looking at me a tiny bit sad now. Anyway, today... <laughs> For and I, we're going to have a very special episode again. It's oh, yes. one decade it's, episode it's, number 30. Yeah, it's a tale of love and hate. Oh, yeah. Oh, a big one. <laughs> not her and I loving and hating. It's just loving, not hating. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we are having something special. Hence, we're not gonna tell you much about what's to come. You just have to watch. Uh, but it's a decade of an episode, the 30th for Cthulhu Wars, which yeah. is a very lovely game that is for f uh, two to four people for uh, looking at the notes, 60 to 90 minutes if you're 14 years and up. So it's, it's really creepy, so don't play it if you are. If you are a creep? No. No. <laughs> you, you can totally play that when you're a creep. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> the creepers podcast. <laughs> oh no! I, I hope anyway. I hope Sandy, the game designer, forgives me that. It's it's. Uh, I'm trying to promote your game here. No, that's that's actually that's a compliment when you say it's creepy and it's, it's, it's a horrible game. Well, cool. it's Cthulhu. I love and it. It's wars. I mean, yeah. But let's find out what we took as experiences to paint for you. There we go. Yay! Today we paint one after the other. You have the screen to yourself, so talk. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still love you. <laughs> oh boy. It was really weird when editing that it's just your name and yeah. <laughs> it felt quite alone. One man show. One yeah. woman show. Whatever. One human? Human being, one anyway. Cthulhu show. But you, you have the tiny, the, the tiny figurines. Oh, and there's somebody. Yeah, intruding. we should, we should have you totally blend in your name when you are just, you know, going no. in there for. No, no. it's no. your screen. You okay. have, you have the stage. Yeah. All right. You do the lovely planning and outlining and all the all the things. You you actually Stuff. yeah, you compose the painting there. And I'm just looking over your shoulder and saying, yes, 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 mm, yes. <laughs> you are totally just standing there. You're doing that one. <laughs> I would never do that. Why not? People, because I'm a nice person. I'm not, excuse my French, an asshole. <laughs> I'm a nice person. Boring. Only if we play board games, we're not best friends. Oh, but my at gosh. at least when we play competitive. Don't get me started on that. But... That, but once we stop playing, we're best friends again. Jekyll and Hyde are totally kindergarten kinders, uh, yeah. children for, for that purpose. And it was your German lesson of the day. Yep. Yeah. It's not called... Well, it's called kindergarten for a reason. It is. <laughs> so, it is. yeah. But um, for the um, outlining, composing kind of a painting, which, which of the bigger bosses did you like to best to um, sketch. Cthulhu did work out best. Um, maybe because I started out with them and yeah, if I paint on, and draw too long, I'm starting to get, uh, to lose focus. Mm -hmm. and as I told in other episodes, it takes a huge amount, huge amount of concentration. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Cthulhu turned out best and was the best model to have. But I also like how uh, Niela Totep and, uh, gosh, forgot that other guy's name. Oh, the, the red one or the yellow? No, the red one I'm, I remember, but the yellow one. <sighs> that that eyeball thingy. He, <clears throat> let's put it this way. I know three names of the universe i can say one all right um, so please can we please say yellow <laughs> red all right. well green is cthulhu blue is the one you just said um but yeah can, can you please <laughs> yeah <all right. laughs> so <laughs> so i liked how uh those two turned out because um 
of those two, I did change the most in mm -hmm. um, position and perspective. So mm -hmm. um, it was a bit harder to do, but um, they turned out all right, I guess. But of course, um, yeah, the main theme here is Cthulhu. Yeah, as always. I mean, I mean, the game's named after him. The right. whole universe knows him for that, and right, yeah. So, but the other guys are cool too. So, yeah. Daniel, there you have the, yeah, the yellow the eyeball blob. thing. I the blob, yeah. The name I forgot, and the blue one is Niela Totep. So, yeah. Uh, Daniel liked Cthulhu best yeah. too. So he he joined us uh, with what we liked most. Yeah, but um, I have to um, well thank Sandy here for that because. Um, the figurines mm -hmm. I have there as kind of a model, they are so awesome. So <laughs> yeah. awesome. So detailed, so it's, yeah. it's really a, pl a pleasure to paint them and to draw mm -hmm. them, I mm -hmm. think. So at least I felt so, so yeah. Messing with There's the lights there. Soon we can play with other armies. Yeah, we had late night dinner in there. Mm -hmm. It was really late night. It was um, I had shortly days before. Yeah, yeah, it was the uh, you're getting older day. Ah, yeah. Then, so uh, you uh, had the next day off, and mm -hmm. but you, it was like quarter to twelve or something, like yeah. midnight almost, yeah. when you were still drawing, and that is usually not your time to work. So I was super impressed with you still going, 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 going to Yeah, it, I really stuff. felt like it, I was in the mood for that, and yeah. so I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna go through all that, so you can go on mm -hmm. with the next layer, and uh, yeah. Which I did the same night. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep, that, it was a long night. Yeah, it's it's amazing how I'm. Well, it it might be that you in the audience are feeling, oh, this time around the video is way slower than usual. Way well, it's not. It's just that uh, instead of having both of the stream streams be played simultan simultaneously, simultaneously, yeah. blah, how does that? Uh, we played it one after the other. That is why it feels maybe a bit longer. But it took really a long time for you to sketch. And there's just so many details that you had to put in there. I, I was actually impressed that you didn't take 14 days longer <laughs> to sketch them out. You, you in total took uh, 199 minutes. And I took 208 minutes, yeah. so we're just nine minutes apart. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we totally planned that. Oh, really. totally. That's that's the goal of those cooperative <laughs> paintings. Every every ten episodes, of course, we have the next one planned already, and oh yes, that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As put always. It this way. So. Um, as we go along and watch me uh, just sketching out there, maybe people don't find it that interesting. Um, I wanted to ask you when. Yes, I will marry you. Oh shit, I'm already married. Sorry. Oh. Now we what? can solve that problem. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> I married right. my soulmate. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got another I, one. <laughs> I had to. I had to jump at that opportunity. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. See, uh, Daniel joins us <laughs> in the stream. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to ask something. Sorry. Yeah. When we were pretty much first meeting each other, I think first or second time, and I found out you are a painter, mm -hmm. I was asking you what? Uh, yeah, walls, fingers, clothes. More accidentally, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty much anything. Yeah, and I asked you about what materials you usually yeah, use. Yeah, pretty much anything but. Anything but? Oils. Oils. So, yeah. why didn't you like to use oils? Because I'm impatient. And I don't want to wait forever to be able to paint the next layer. So, how did you feel using exactly oils? Exactly the same. <laughs> uh, you know, while working... 
it's awesome. I like they they feel almost creamy. Oh yes, you know I love that. So that is what I know from the oil pastels, but it's way more enhanced with the oil paints. That creamy kind of a feel, and mm. I actually liked it because well, you can make funny things for the background. I use it a lot for the sky, and you will see in a minute here. I'm not gonna spoil that. You have to watch, folks. This is actually my first oil painting. Tada! You're there with me. Um, <laughs> but I I really liked that. Uh, what I found a bit more difficult, though, it. Uh, the smallest brush that I used for details, and this is an A3 painting, is uh, uh, 0.5 millimeters, so it's like three hairs. That's the smallest brush. And still I had a lot of trouble putting in very fine lines because the paint is so soft. It's almost like a gel. So it's not as... I don't, uh, yeah, it's, it gives all, it's in, not as hard. It gives, and, it gives in on touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very you can, it's very malleable. In the, and acrylics are to a certain point as well, but they are way more. They're like bam, I put you down. They stay there, yeah. and the oils are like I'm gonna explore the rest of the painting. What did you do there? You know, <laughs> they're very soft. So it's it, it was way more trouble to. Um, get the fine lines done I did in the end but not to the not the way I, I was used to it what I didn't like about the oils and that is why I'm not gonna have it as my main medium is the waiting time between the layers yes. and yes there's media that you can add so uh, dries or hardens faster but then again I could use acrylics then that's not the point of oil painting I, if I use a medium I want to use it the way it's supposed to be used and oils are supposed to be for a slower process, very, very smooth, very detailed, very, well, you know, yeah, the feeling of oils. And if I paint with those, I want to have that feeling and I don't want to have the acrylic feeling. But I'm too impatient. I would have tons and tons of UFOs in my, in my studio if I would paint with oils. It's yeah. just because, you know, that's one other thing that I actually well not realized but just got reminded of it in like a big big way i i know that i'm an intuitive painter and that i have a different kind of a brush stroke depending on my mood each day mm -hmm. so i have to get things done to have it be done in the same brush stroke if i want that if i want to have something very harmonic and for the life of me, I was waiting for the right days to have the same brush stroke for the second part after your second sketching. Mm -hmm. And that was, <clears throat> let's say, a tiny bit frustrated when those days didn't come and I had a deadline because we have to schedule the video and I have to have time for you to, and I to have the voiceover. And so I was like, come on, day, come on, come on. That was... That was, uh, it's like, yeah, Sarah, you're not, you're, mm -hmm. go with the acrylics most of the time. <laughs> More like, like it. Mm -hmm. But once in a while, or if, if I'm maybe not under pressure and now I have the song in my head. Yep. You're welcome. Same here. Mm -hmm. I, I might come back to the oils or have it maybe as the last glossy layer in a mixed media painting or something, but I'm not going to make it my my first medium to go uh -huh. to. But I love the colors, they are so bright. They are, they really yeah, are. It's, and it's I love wow. the I love the smell of it. And I cannot paint hungry because they they smell like French fries. <laughs> that oil, that uh, linen uh, oil, flaxseed oil, whatever you want to call it, that you have, it, it smells like food. And if I paint hungry, oh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh it smells like like to french it, fries yeah um, to me oh. it smells like a typical mostly eastern german food uh pear cutter from quark and line oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i cannot paint hungry because i like that food it's like yeah so I it's, it's it. pretty much just um cooked potatoes and mm -hmm. um yeah, uh, sour yeah. cream, sour cream uh, and with, yeah, that, with herbs, and then yeah, and then the flaxseed oil, yeah, the, this kind of oil, and <sighs> it's really tasty. It's really uh, good for your uh -huh. health, and uh, I enjoyed it as a kid because you could mm -hmm. make little landscapes with it. Yeah. 
yeah. with little streams and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, so I, yeah. I like, I like the smell. I like the consistency of the mm-hmm. colors because I could uh, correct my errors forever, mm-hmm. which I'm missing with the acrylics. And I could take my time for everything and could mix the colors on the paper, which I got taught from my um, art teacher in school. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much stick with that for a long time. I didn't like to mix on the um, the palette. palette, But you pretty much know that because, uh, yeah. I'm nodding big time here. It's like, it's like dubstep. (laughs) <laughs> music without the music like okay nod, now nod, now nod. i have dubstep sarah in my mind let's uh, get that off <laughs> no, it's not pretty no no, no sorry no. not not because of the sarah but no but dubstep. That, <laughs> and the combination yeah not pretty a bit funny though yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. so um yes i was I have to admit, I was a little bit envious that you got to do the oil paintings part. Well, next time around, I'm very happy to let you do that. Well, maybe the detailed part. I'm, I'll just uh, be happy to add the last details mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, just um, put the, the, the structure mm-hmm. into the guys. And, yeah, that would have been the thing I would have to... Oh, well, we will um, very do. likely have a game that would be very suitable for oils. Yeah, maybe we will do that sometime. Mm-hmm. Or maybe in another um, yeah context, we don't... We never know what's coming, but yeah. I'm always open for that. Um, whatever. So... I think it's quite an interesting experiment for both of us. Um, oh yeah, it is. Because I, you can see that background back there uh, with the sky that you did. Mm-hmm. We talked in, in depth about oh, yeah. what we wanted to do there and what we wanted to achieve. Uh, we wanted a really, um, when Cthulhu comes, the world goes down. Mm-hmm. We don't mm-hmm. have a way to avoid that and we wanted to. It's like a hurricane at night. Yeah. Uh, when we get um, thunderstorms here, we have that, uh, what we call, we both at least mm-hmm. call uh, a sulfur, yeah, um, sulfur sky. sky. It's, a, it's a yellowish, a yellow, green. Yeah, you can see it next to Cthulhu's yeah. wing a tiny, tiny bit. So that eerie yellowish, sick yeah. looking kind of a sky. That's what we have with thunderstorms here a yeah. lot. And that combined with the darker moods in mm-hmm. the in the center, uh, upper center. So that's what we definitely wanted to achieve yes. uh, with uh, lots of clouds and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think that worked out really well. I love well, it. Well, we, we looked at tons and tons of photos from our own collections because we both yeah. like to look at clouds and skies. Mm-hmm. We find them both very interesting and, and hard to paint, actually. Mm. I think they are happy. clouds. Yes, yeah. uh, moody sky, not so much. But the clouds, then they're the really difficult part. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. And uh, we looked at lots and lots of photos and uh, well discussed what kind of a sky we wanted. And um, yeah, in the end, settled on the oh, the world is going down ap- uh, apocalypse kind of a sky. Yeah, interesting. I notice here you don't really use. Um, See that? Um, paper towels? No, I don't at all. That's what I um, used to get um, when I had too much paint on my pens, uh, to, on my brushes to get fine lines. I always would just put that into the paper towel and maybe... The paper towel is down there. Ah, yeah. And so you don't you see do. that. It, I, oh, oh yeah. I thought you would take it to the paper. Oh, no. no I just no. put it on the paper towel. And no. if I need a little mm. teensy weensy yeah. bit of that color yeah. later on, I just pick that from the paper yes, towel. Yes, exactly. That's that's down there. But I usually... <laughs> the painting. But when I paint in oil, I usually keep my... Um, brushes as clean as I can with mm. bad paper towels and I have huge yeah. amount of paper towels that I use and I just go in at least five or six tips of yeah. the brushes and uh, usually do that so you're quite bold for for my mm. feeling and I, I like that I can learn a lot of from that because well, you don't, you're what, not afraid what you don't see because I have the paper th- and I'm showing her on the screen right now it's <laughs> like at my neck height yeah. down there and I go like this right. in a circle so palette yeah. paper towel go paper uh, palette paper towel go yeah. and if I want to have a blob and then spread it like with the um, shaving brush yeah. then I skip the paper towel 
towel part. That's what I've found yeah. be- to work best. For How did oils. that shading brush work out for you? Really good. Yeah, I never used those kind of things. So it's it's a very stiff brush and still soft, mm-hmm. and uh, it it really works well for for. Uh, while blending in and getting rid of the brush strokes. I, I also use it with acrylics, but now I have to have another one or I have right. to dedicate another one because I never yeah. go back with the oil yeah. used uh, thingies, um, brushes, yeah. back to acrylics. It's but like that. Yeah, um, I find uh, makeup brushes or um, shaving brushes work best for yeah. that blending. And it worked, like I said, um, it worked a tiny bit better with uh, the oils because they are so creamy yeah. with the acrylics i gotta work a bit more to yeah. achieve that um that effect or i have to work with a tiny bit more water mm-hmm. to blend the same way and here i just didn't have to interesting thing i i'm noticing here when you finished your first layer i think you were talking about beforehand we were talking about what color palette we wanted to the uh, for the other Mm, yeah. Uh, once. Yeah. And I think after the first layer, it was that I said they are quite bright still. We didn't want them. Oh, that's to be the. Bright. Oh, you mean the first color layer? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, got I, it. But here on camera, it doesn't appeal at all. Because there's no be color bright. yet. It's ah, that's, white. Oh, that's black, just coming. Yeah. All right. And uh, burned umber. That's the whole ah, underpaint. Nice. All right. I yeah now I see because you used a little of yellow already there so I yep, was like yeah. oh my. that was a mishap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so right now now we go to the colors. Now we go to the colors. That's so another that's, day yeah. and now I'm glazing pretty much and there's like uh, the pure color and yeah. I'm gonna tone it down with a bit of burned umber so that brown yeah. that I also used for the first yeah. layer but yeah I, I didn't expect to be the oils yeah. I mean there's just a teeny tiny amount it's really, mostly you oil you can't see that it's not and lo- still much at all it's like yeah it's it's high it, pigment highly pigmented I didn't so. I didn't expect to be the glaze mm-hmm. as bright so I had to tone that down quite a bit it yeah. was like comic almost but um the the sh- uh, shading in the first um layer was really amazing I I really like that thank you so it's just yeah I I think um well you could uh, you said you didn't work a lot with glazing when you were painting no. the oils it's like wet and wet that's more your thing I yeah. I find that when I fa- when I um start with a new medium that I have no clue about and that's the first painting and it's not just a test painting but <clears throat> one for the series it's like I find that too intimidating so the less colors the better and black and white and brown mm. I cannot go wrong there so that's why i said okay i definitely have to go with the glazing just to be less intimidated i'd yeah. say all right and it worked out to the point that i said okay i don't need to have a test painting beforehand it's enough to watch you paint uh, like the giraffes that you did yeah and then uh learn about well the technical side of things how the medium just behave and go right into the quote unquote real yeah. painting there. Just look at that portal on the right upside. I really enjoy how bright it is. Yeah, it didn't so a... much there, but it's, nope. it's, it's just, just shining. The uh, teal color that you have and uh, the white. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I also found interesting and a bit scary at the beginning, but uh, I guess you just don't have to take care of that as much with the oils than with the acrylics is that in the bundle that you bought for the oils there was no mixing white there was just the titanium white which mm-hmm. usually dulls colors mm-hmm. and I was kind of afraid it's like oh no I'm gonna use the titanium oh no it's gonna dull all, all of the colors and it does not with oils I wonder if it is because of the medium itself or if um would there have been a mixing white that the colors mm-hmm. would have been even more bright that it actually dulled the yeah. colors but it wasn't recognizable c- because yeah. with acrylics is it's such a big difference i don't know i would have to lie if i said uh, i knew about that i have no clue honestly <laughs> i'm not lying about that i don't know so I like what you did there with the with the landscape, how you uh, managed to do the water and how you used some of the blue for fervor 
um, giving death to the sky over there. Oh, it's, oh, it's really ah, good. Got it's it. Nice. Got, okay. Yeah, that's something that I always tell you: reuse it somewhere else so it's yeah. harmonic. And I didn't even think about it. It's just yeah, I use the water blue, which is the yeah. Russian blue, the warm one for the sky, and the mm -hmm. yellow of the eye blob thing. Yeah, for the sky. Yeah. I didn't even think about. it. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Things you learn about yourself. It seems I was zoning out while painting, which is always a good sign. <laughs> it means I'm relaxing while I paint, and that is that nice. messy bed head you see down there is mine, by the way. So yeah. 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 Well, your name is on the screen. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I just uh, just for, for uh -huh. the case uh -huh, people wondering. Yeah. yeah. That was that was something that. I was, well, again, kind of scared because I didn't know how the pencil or the charcoal work on top of the oil. If you would be able to then have those very tiny figurines uh, drawn and uh, detailed again, or if it would behave just as badly as it sometimes does with the acrylics. But you managed pretty well. You did only... Um, maybe <clears throat> have a bit of a bad word there just maybe once or twice that you had a bit of trouble but <laughs> yeah because i seemed, couldn't erase what i did yeah i but, couldn't erase it but it seemed like you were able to um well work well enough for you not to be frustrated at times it was that. hard mm. to get the um Pencil, be seen. Oh yeah. yeah. So for parts for the outer lines, for the um, strong lines, I used some cold just to make mm. them more visible mm. later on for you, because I didn't know when you would be able to finish it. So I wanted to like give you a manual and on where um, the figurines would end and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much. Um, you can see it from that angle quite well, I guess, but. Um, Mm -hmm. when, yeah, when I'm when I'm um, trying to um, put something on that yellow one, you will see it's hard to figure out the lines there. Yeah, that's why I, I really yeah. Yeah, I was impressed because um, I have some acrylic paintings where the acrylic paint was rather thin; it was totally dry, and still I couldn't go with a pencil on mm -hmm. top. So I thought, oh gosh, if it you would have break that there, or what what would happen? No, it just wouldn't wouldn't go. No. And I had to use uh, charcoal mm. or pastels or oil pastels yeah. um, to, or like a permanent marker. Mm. It just wouldn't wouldn't have any graphite on the acrylics. All right. Sometimes that happened. Sometimes it worked totally fine. So I was kind of kind of like, oh, I hope it works. Oh, I hope it works. <laughs> oh, I hope it works. It's pretty much the subtitle of Cthulhu Wars. <laughs> oh, I hope it works. <laughs> At least for this painting for me. It, it yeah. was... Well, parts it was surprising, parts it was scary, parts it was like um, really tense, and parts it was just zoning out. In just like the game itself. Yeah. Bam! <laughs> yes, pretty much. Exactly, exactly. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. let's paint a triptych over more than... A month's yeah. time and uh, yeah try to have it be consistent like well the original idea um, we had when we planned oh. that painting was kind of those um, well, what are they renaissance yeah. uh, those battle scenes mm -hmm. which you get over huge uh, canvases and I, you can, you can see them I showed you, like Napo Napoleon. Yeah, uh, the Hungarian War, and uh, also oh, here, uh, Washington Revolution. Yeah, looked at those. So um, Waterloo, all the all of those. Usually, those uh, peculiar scenes mm -hmm. where you have this lighting coming from somewhere back and watching into a valley where two armies are mm -hmm. fighting against each other with so uh, such an um, yeah this eerie yeah. theming coming from from mm -hmm. the colors and the setting there and lots of movement and um, yeah. So we 
we had that in mind uh -huh. a bit when we planned the painting. So how do you feel about that now when you see the background? It? Yes, uh, the monster is not yet, but soon ish. Yeah, I for now they seem quite static. Yeah, for the fantastical part that we put or the fantastical world that we wanted that quote unquote Renaissance style be set in, I think we achieved it to the point that we could or the. I couldn't do more mm -hmm. in that regard. Um, I We might have been able to achieve it for a way bigger scale, like maybe a huge canvas <coughs> or a wall or something. But on an A3, I think it yeah. is the farthest we could have gotten. Mm -hmm. um, I think we achieved it way more with the background than with the monsters. Yeah. But then again, they're the fantastical parts, so I don't mind. <laughs> But yeah. uh, right now it looks kind of static. It's funny, the um, portal mm -hmm. sparkles, yeah. they change it up quite a bit. Oh, they do, they do. I can tell pretty much what they did. Um, they just give some, add some magic to that. Yeah. Like and movement, yeah. I think. I, For now, like you said, it's pretty static. Yes, it is. Um, But uh, alone, uh, having you added those shades that you did just now, uh, it changes the bit, uh, thing up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. feel um, yeah. it's a difference already. So, um, yeah, I think um, for first approach, we did well. Yes, that's, we didn't we didn't shit the bed. No, that's really my feeling about it. I was when we started that I was thinking, okay, either it's gonna be like fully, full on awesome, or, or totally we're just gonna bad, be yeah. crappy at it yeah, because we are we're fail. trying too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I don't think we screwed up. Really, not. We didn't have an epic fail. No, let's put it this way. <laughs> uh, there are some things and there are gonna be some things that we are not happy with not yeah. at all um but i think um as a whole it's it's really all right it's a good yeah. painting just a few highlights and yeah. we're done yeah so. and then comes the creepy part yeah you that didn't. you're not gonna see on camera <laughs> <laughs> you didn't because the video it. is done now it's done uh, I hope or we hope you enjoyed this 30th episode of draw for initiative next week we're gonna battle each other again with the paintings just like in the usual style we're in season four welcome welcome if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below you can uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this uh, video we would appreciate that a lot also you can share it with the friends or subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to acquire any kind of paintings that we do on the draw for initiative please hop on over to tina's etsy store it's uh, in her twitter and everywhere the twitter and stuff is linked in the description box below or if you want to have uh, my paintings to be looked at then uh, please go to my web page it's also in the description box below And we would be happy to see you back next Wednesday, 9 a.m. CET, with a new game. Have fun, everybody. Bye! Bye.